Hello, Husky's back again with more Edmonton Oilers GM Mode Franchise Mode commentary. Last video we survived the um, San Jose Sharks and Calgary Flames. This time we're running into the St. Louis Blues in the conference finals. <clears throat> um, please excuse the fans if you hear them. It's like 95 degrees today. My room gets a little warm. Alright, but... 54 win, President Trophy winning St. Louis Blues, I'm assuming. Usually 54 wins get you the President's Trophy. We had a, what, 101 points? Yeah. Oh shit, they had a, Oh, excuse me. They had 110 and finished second. So, Tampa Bay won the President's Trophy. Impressive. Alright, so Western Conference. We're the fourth seed, they're the one seed. Alright. Let's see, we scored more? We gave up more. Uh, the power play is about even. Penalty kill is about even. There, yeah. I mean, we're pretty solid across the board. I mean, there's no real underlying cause of why this team is better than us or why they're worse than us. Uh, let's look at the regular season, though. St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis. They're there. Alright, so Vladimir Tarasenko is still rocking it out. 87 points. He's 32 years old. Jaden Schwartz, 84 points. Nicholas Backstrom. Well, wow. Robbie Fabry. Shattenkirk. Yakupov. Gauden. Benares. Barnett. Dunn. Petrangelo. Svedberg. Shushko. Rodin. Gleason. Watson. I mean, this team... Pavel Buchnevich. This team doesn't seem overly good. Um, I know I say that about a lot of teams we play against, but I mean, they have two guys over 88 overall, and the rest of them are pretty just meh. So they're a very top-heavy team. They rely on this first line of Schwartz, Tarasenko, and Backstrom. Which, I mean, that's a, that's a line you can rely on. Uh, Shattenkirk, Dunn, Petrangelo, Gleason, Hall, Edmondson. So their defense falls off as well after their first two. Once you get past Shattenkirk and Petrangelo, Dunn's not bad, but he's not the best. And what are they rocking goalie-wise? Evan Fitzpatrick, who's an 87, who's hurt. So Luke... Oh, they have two 87 overall goalies. That's fair. All right, I want to see their playoff stats. Mm. Let's see. So we've obviously got my, our first line rocking, McDavid, Veselainen, and Forsberg. They're dominating the playoffs right now. Uh, Tarasenko has 10 goals in 13 games. Schwartz, Benares, Shattenkirk, Shushko. So yeah, like I said, Schwartz and Tarasenko versus... Basically their first line is going to be first our first line. That's the matchup that it's going to end up being. Fitzpatrick got hurt in this playoff run. Opelka? Opelka? I don't know, man. I'm trying. It's O-P-I-L-K-A. Opelka? I don't know, man. Either way, I think we have the upper hand. Like I said, they're a first-line team. We have th four lines of score. Well, it's kind of three and a half. Depends on what form of the second line shows up. Either way, let's get into it. Game one. In St. Louis. Big start, boys. Big start. All right, nice. Three to one. Flurry, Solara, and McDavid all put one in. Nice. Holy shit, we have thirty-two shots. They have fourteen. Off to a good start. Let me uh, let me crack a beverage real quick. See if it. Nice Forsberg. See if that fixes my uh, my voice here. Oh, that's so refreshing. It's a little early for Pepsi, but I don't really care. Alright, four to one win, nice. Good start, good start, good start. That's what I like to see. A ninety eight offense coming through in game one. Hopefully it uh continues here. We don't fizzle out. Nice, two to one. Godolman and Nylander. Nice. Nylander's really kinda coming back together here. Ooh, tie game got in and ties it in the second. 
Oh, Jaden Schwartz gets an early one in the third. But Vessel Line didn't answer. So, see, Lions are trading right now. We have 34 shots. They have 24. So, we're outplaying them again. Oh, hey, they're getting better goaltending, though. Nice, Velarde. Second line coming through in the clutch. And Velarde gets a second one. Nice. 5-3. to three. Game 2 win. 2-0 up on the Blues. Let's go. Going back to Edmonton. Now, we're not the best home team, so they might give us a better run here. Interested to see how we play at home. I see. one nothing. We're in. They're 18 to 6 in shots after one period. 32 to 14 in shots. Yeah, this is a road team is dominating so far this series. I don't know why we're so bad at home. Shushko with the goal. 3 0. Yeah, I don't. Edmonton is historically like this great home team. I don't I don't understand where we're Ben Nyers. Yeah, okay, that's that's game. Four nothing. That's alright. Like I said, road teams are winning so far. Luckily if we go seven games, that means uh game seven will be we'll be on the road, so I don't really want a good game seven, so let's just let's 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 reel it in this game. Alright, they're up three to one. Kreisky gets a gets kind of a Momentum killer, maybe. All right, we got one. They got one. Four to two going into the third. Brendan Leipzig coming up in the playoffs again. This is more of an even game. We just only have we got the goaltending. Tarasenko and Neuverth, really. Corpusala got pulled. I don't get it, man. Corpusala has not played very well. I don't know what. Mm. All right, five to two. They came back and won on our home ice, which I mean I kind of called, but we'll see if it continues here in game five. No oh, zero zero. There we are two to two. Fedorov and Velarde. Another even game. These even games scare me because St. Louis can score like four goals in a matter of three seconds. I mean, technically, so can we. I don't know why our power play is so bad. Nice, Kreisky. Let's go. He does the fourth line scoring? He might be a third liner. I don't remember. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, big game. Game five victory to Edmonton. Three to two in the series. Going back to it. Let's see if we can win it on home ice. So far, our home games this round have been pretty shite. Alright, here we go. Big start. Big start. Alright, we're down 3 nothing. That's not a big start. Alright, 4 nothing. Why can't we win? Why can't we even score at home? Hey, it's on B. There we go. Power play. Nice. Fedorov. 4-2. to two. We're not dead yet. We're out playing them. Oh, power play for them. Good kill. Our power play for us. Can we get one? No. I think that's game. If we would have got... Oh, wait. Troy Stetcher. 4-3. to three. We take a penalty. Two minutes left. One minute left. Oh, couldn't complete the comeback. So we're going to game seven in St. Louis. Like I said, this works out for us. The road team has won every game so far this series. We had some... We had some nice comeback there, but I want to see if I can get the team going here. Vicklin, Stetcher, Neuver, the rest of my team doesn't like that. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. Whatever. We're fine. Let's go. Game 7. Did I hit play game? I think I hit play game. Nope, I didn't. Alright. Full sim. Game 7, full sim, boys. Let's go. Oh, early penalty. Nice. Good start. Good kill, though. Get that momentum going in our favor. Ooh, we get a power play. Nope, nothing. Come on, I'd like to see a lead after the first period here. Nice, Solara. Let's go. Alright, decent period. Outshot him 12-7. to 7. 
Now he's Philip Forsberg to start the period. 2 nothing. Oh, couldn't get anything in power play. Oh. Good kill. The St. Louis power play kill just scares me, man. Tarasenko, Schwartz. Backstrom, like, Shattenkirk. All right, good period, good period. 2-0 going into the third. Let's, let's close it out here. It's been a real defensive game. Five on three. Oh, we should have scored in the five on three. And Tarasenko scores, of course. Wouldn't be a Huskies game seven if we didn't cut it close. Nice, McDavid. Insurance marker. Let's go. Forsberg with the dagger. That's game. Four to one. Edmonton shows up in game seven. The road team sweeps out the series. Every single game. And we are on to the cup finals against the Washington Capitals. 42, 29, and 11. That is a Colorado Avalanche record if I've ever seen it. Well, let's go look at their team. We're going to do the cup finals here. We're looking for our, we're looking for our f first cup here in Edmonton during this run. We got one with San Jose. We got to get one with Edmonton. All right, Washington, that's what I pick. Evgeny Kuznetsov, 88. Adam Rusica, 87. Alexander Ovechkin is an 84. Still put up 34 goals. Jonathan Drouin, 87. Ryan McLeod, 86. John Klingberg. Jacob Verana. Marcus Johansson. Andre Burkowski. Seems pretty solid through the top six, but once you get past those top six, they fall off pretty hard. Probably don't have any cap space because I'm assuming all these guys are... Crazy expensive. 6.7, 4.6, 6.3, 8. 8 for Durant, Jesus. 7.6 for Klingberg, 5.7 for Verona, 6.4 for Johansson. Get the fuck out of here. You're 85 overall. Yeah, top 6 and then whew, falls right off. 63 points to 37. Uh, their defense isn't terribly good. They have Klingberg and that's it. Yeah, they, it's literally just Klingberg. And I said forward wise, it's top six. And then it's Johansson and Burkowski. And then it's a whole bunch of minuses. Who's our goalie? Is it still Holtby? No. That's your Demko. That's your Demko and Steve Mason. I wonder if Holtby went. He probably was a free agent. That's your Demko. 86 overall. 80 poise. I don't know, man. This team, again, doesn't feel like they're better than us. McDavid, Forsberg, and Veselin, so we're rocking out. Velarde really stepping up, though. I like it. That's what I want to see. Uh, Washington. Jakob Verona has 28 points. Holy shit. God damn. Rusica, 23. Juran, 19. McLeod, 16. So they're really banking on that second line of Verona, Rusica, and I'm assuming Drew in. Actually, probably, no, yeah, it's probably Drew in. Going off the plus minuses. All right, this is going to be, this is going to be tough. They've got some good players here. We can do this. So this is what, our second trip to the Stanley Cup Finals? We lost to Florida the first time. Let's see if we can get off to a good start in game one. I know we're not a home team, but. Nice, two to one. Foster and Sampe. Rusica gets one though. It's all right. Oops, nobody wanted that. I just wanted to quick sim it. Okay, they get two, we get one. So hey, we're still tied at least. Ovechkin and Verana. Nylander gets on the board. We got this. Big third period. Big third period. Power play, come on. Sorry, hey, take a drink. Another power play. Power play. Long power play. Long power play. Nothing, really. Alright, overtime in game one. Nice. Sompe. Winning it. I like it. Let's go. one nothing, Edmonton. We won a game at home. That's encouraging. See if we can keep it up here. Come on. Come on. Nice big start, Solara. 
Ooh, they answer Rusika and Drew in. This team's top six is good. Drew in. Damn, three to one. I feel like our top six is better, but I don't have that bona fide second line guy yet. Solara, nice. Can we tie it? No. Alright, one to one. It's alright. Or listen to that song. One to one. Let's go. We're we're a road team at heart. We got this. Can't believe this team beat the President's Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning. Alright, two nothing. Washington off to a good start. Come on, we need to answer here. Alright, there's something. Good open. Two to one. We can we can come back from one goal deficit. Nice. Forsberg tie game. Let's go. Nice, Stetcher. Some teammate on teammate violence there. Stetcher scoring on Demko. Although I don't know if they ever got to play with each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on. Hold them off, boys. Hold them off. Oh, Rusica. Nice, Forsberg. Fuck it, let's go. Beautiful. Two to one. God, I love Philip Forsberg on that first line, man. All right, here we go. Game four. Let's let's put the put the let's get that nail in the coffin here. Three one. All right, one nothing. Ovechkin scores. What the fuck is this? Ovechkin in the Stanley Cup final scoring a goal. That's some bullshit. Now right, Jonathan Drouin on Neuvirth. Shit, Corpus Allo must have got hurt. Neuvirth's not a bad goalie, but he's not Corpus Allo. Although, if we can't score, it doesn't matter who's in net. Good kill. Nice. That's the line in. 2-1. Two nice, Nylander. 2-2. Two two. Let's go. Oh, power play at the end of the game. What are you fucking doing, guys? Oh, my God. Such a long power play in overtime. Oh, my. Oh, what a kill. And we get a power play? Did we, t did we win it? We do. Christian Veselainen. Holy shit. We kill off like six minutes of penalties there. We take game four. Holy shit, man. Corpus Salo, Bruised hip. June 14th. So he is out for the rest of the Stanley Cup Finals. So we have to go with... We have to go with Michael Neuwirth. I mean, that's not terrible. I'm, I'm glad we made the trade for Neuwirth earlier in the year now. This is where it's this is where it's coming into play. God, Vicklin, I want you to be good, man, but you're just struggling so hard to score. All right, Neuwirth, your time to shine, buddy. Your time to shine. All right, come on. Game five, we got this. We're in Edmonton. Let's win it on home ice. All right, one to one. Gabriel Gibson, not bad. Two to one, nice McDavid. Let's go. Come on, Neuberth. Big third period here, buddy. Come on, hold on to it, boys. Hold on to it. Nice, Gabriel with two. The fourth line showing up in game five. No power play. Nice. Dunham. Four to one. I think that's game boys. I think we've got this in the bag. Let's go ahead and hop in. Should we wear our orange jerseys? No, we're gonna wear the we're gonna wear the blue. We're gonna wear the blue. Let's just get into it. There it is though, man. Four to one with forty five seconds left. This Edmonton Oilers team finally cracks the cup in our second trip in what is this eight years finally get the job done taking down the washington capitals oh shit i'm actually playing the game i didn't want to play the game forgot to change that oopsie sorry uh where's select sides there it is lock position okay so lock position is coach i can all right let's get it done to finish it out strong here, boys. 48 seconds. 4-1 to one lead. Edmonton Big face-off win. Face Gabriel's in there. He needs a... I want to see an empty net for a fourth-line hat-trick in Game 5. 
Ah, uh, don't freeze the puck, man. The game's over. Just play the puck. It's alright. Juran Kuznetsov Verona. That's their first line. That's pretty nasty. Considering their second line is Backstrom. Or is, no, they don't have Backstrom. Backstrom was on the Blues. Oh, loses it. Brings up the wing. Oh, wide. Oh, loose puck. Where is it? Find it. Get it out. Oh, Washington's not gone yet. 4-2. to two. Who scored that? Was that Juran? I don't know who number 13 is. Nope, Jakob Verana. <laughs> Alright, 21 seconds left, boys. Hold on to it. It's his 13th goal of the playoffs. No, big faceoff win. Oh boy, Kuznetsov's in. Oh, the deke. Oh my god. This this isn't happening. Holy shit, 4-3, to three, 14 seconds. Just hold on, boys. 14 seconds. This can't be real. This. Oh no, they won the faceoff. Oh no, this can't be real. Oh no. Oh, they went off sides. Holy shit, man. Are you kidding me right now? This can't. This. No. Not like this. Not like this. Oh no, he's in. Don't let him shoot. Go get him. Oh my god, that might have been a tie game. No, don't let him shoot that. Oh, big save, Neuwirth. Four tenths of a second left. Oh boy. Just win the face off. Win the face off. Yes. Whew. It was it was rough, boys, but we got it done. Holy shit, that was scary. I can't believe they made it close. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that celebration is. Connor McDavid. Captain McDavid. McJesus. Winning his first Stanley Cup. Philip Forsberg with the Conn Smythe. 26 points. 11 goals, 15 assists. Glad we got to win it on home ice. Connor McDavid, despite being 8 years in the future, still looks like he's fresh out of the womb. Raising the cup. Who's the first person he gives it to? Probably Christian Veselainen, I would assume. I don't know who that is. Number 10. Oh, it's Forsberg. Forsberg to some redheaded... Oh, Foster. All right. Number 30. Nylander gets it. Nice. Then there's Neuverth. Poor Corpusalo doesn't get to... Doesn't get to celebrate. Doesn't get to get in the picture. Oh, somebody's rocking some flow up there. Hey, there we go. Your Edmonton Oilers are the 2020, 20, the 2023 Stanley Cup champions. Finally, boys, we did it. All right. Oh man, that was whew. holy shit. Woof. Do we see the, uh, the awards right now yet? I kind of want to see the awards. Go ahead and sim to the draft. Um, if you've made it this long, thank you for hanging out. Oh, that should be the award screen. Uh, just know that I've decided to, on a length for these, I'm going to go 10 seasons with both this and the Sharks one. So that means I think we have... This was 2020. So we're going to go till 2026, 20, 27. So we have, I think, three more seasons. I think this was year seven. But yeah, there we go, boys. Big cup win to the Edmonton Oilers. 
Damn, we've won the President's Trophy twice in the past five years. We've only been in the Cup once. No, twice. Twice, sorry. Player awards. Do we have any player awards? Stamkos, Riley, Stamkos. Hey, Forsberg won the Con- Right, won the Consmith. Valat- Vitala? V Vilalta? Won the Vezina back-to-back years for Calgary? Damn, who is this kid? Gogolev? I didn't even look at player stats. Sorry, before I end the video, I gotta see what what this guy's stats are. That's the first like no name I've ever seen win them Richard. Stamkos at 112 points. Oh my goodness. Mikhail Gogolev. He had 51 goals as an 84 overall. Are you kidding me? Casparitis is like look at these guys overalls. High nineties or nineties, high eighties, and then there's the Stooges in eighty four. Interesting. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna call it there. As always, we did it, boys. Um I think I'm gonna look to trade Vickland. I think he's the odd man out of this team. Uh, let me know your opinions on that in the comment section. As always, remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed shit. Leave a like for winning a cup. I think that's I think that's fair. Um, but as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.